going on guys? So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to run TIG on your SA200. This is probably the most basic and most easiest machine to run TIG compared to other machines. I mean, they're not that hard in the other ones, but just the other one you have to switch into TIG mode. On this, on this machine, there's no such thing as TIG mode. You just pretty much plug and play. They're super easy and it's not that expensive. The only thing that you're gonna be paying is for gas, of course, depending on, on your area where you're at. But for me here in Texas, I have a supplier called Coastal Welding. I have an account with them that I pay um, $95 a year for a pretty much like a, a full, maybe about kind of like those um, full size oxygen tanks that look like those. And you and you get that for $95 for a whole year lease. So you just keep paying those 95 every year, but your refill will be around $40 depending on who your supplier is. But for me, it's about $40, $45 to refill my, my Argon tank. But it's super basic. Of course, you know, you got your, on, on your polarities. When you run TIG, it's going to be straight polarity. And what straight polarity, polarity means is that you be running your torch on negative and then your ground is going to be on positive. That's what they call straight polarity. And reverse polarity will be your your stinger will be on positive and your ground negative. That's what we're all used to when welding stick. But with TIG, it's different. You're going to be running your, your ground on positive. You know? You're going to be plugging in your ground on positive and then pretty sure you can see here and then you're gonna be running your torch your TIG torch you're gonna hook that the setup I have is pretty easy I'll show you up close it's pretty basic um, you can get these torches at your local uh, welding supply store. The way this one comes is, let me see if I can undo just the only part of the torch because there's an attachment I have on a 25 foot, hold on a second, a 25 foot um, of TIG. I don't know if you can see that TIG master right there. That's a 25 foot with a quick connect. And you, your torch is 17 foot, if I'm not mistaken. This is your torch right here. And then there's a little sleeve to cover this piece right here. Sorry, one hand here. So this goes into Get this to rotate. There we go. And now the other part fell. All right. Let's leave that right there. But of course, we know that this is the torch. It connects into that fitting right there. And then this, this right here. You can get this already. That comes with only the tick torch. With this quick connect, yeah, only to this, only the torch, this piece right here, with the quick connect, and this um, lock, this thing slides into here and it locks and it secures, so it won't like arc out or anything. So the take torch, this piece, with this, and the quick connect all comes together for a hundred and ten dollars. That's a I believe that's how much I paid at my local. Uh, well in supply store and then this additional um 
line of one fourth argon hose. I paid seventeen dollars for that, twenty five foot, and also at my local uh, coastal coastal welding supply. And of course, you got your regulator, and then I got me a little quick connect to make it easier. And this one has for argon and for CO2. Or you can also use it for uh, for when you will, like with flux core, stuff like that. And then the little quick connect end part, is just slide that in there, clicks in and super basic. But yeah, just plug this to your negative. This one goes into my negative, that's my positive. Your positive will be your ground and then that's it that's all you do is just re reverse the your polarity making it to straight polarity and then from there on just you know like you're welding with stick you know just change your gears adjust your fine adjustment and then just go out of town from there and of course just have your gas running with this, I don't know, if y'all used to those shop machines, usually just leave it on and it starts to flow as soon as you strike an eye. But with this one, since it's all manually, you have to have the gas flowing at all times. <laughs> Mosquitoes are biting. And yeah, just make sure that your gas is on before you start because if you don't start you're gonna mess up your tongues and then burn them out easily but yeah man that is the most basic most reliable machine to run tig on and this thing runs nice you can either run it on an auto or you can run it on a high super easy i'll check out that round barrel this is how a red face a lot of people ask what's the difference from a red face and a and a um, black face. This is a red face barrel. It's round. The um, black face has like little angles on here. They call them hex hex barrels. Super easy to tell. But yeah, guys, that's how you run TIG on your SA200. Super easy. You know, just plug those, and then from there, you make sure your gas is in. You just put it, that's actually my oxygen tank, but whenever I run TIG up there, I swipe all my tanks with the argon hose, hose, I mean tank. And then just have this end, put your regulator into your tanks. Then that entire hose, it goes into here. You just thread it in there. And then this, this part already comes in, this two part, this, Two things that it comes with the uh, with your setup. Some of them don't come with them. Some of them do. But this one, this one comes with it. You can buy them like that, or you can build your own. At, you know, just buy the parts and just connect it onto your quick connect, and then you're ready to rock and roll. And also the the my the mine the one I had, the one I bought, it does not come with a flex head. It, those are sold separately, but they're not that expensive. This one's a flex head. But the one that comes with this setup does not come with a flex head. It's just a solid straight, so don't think it's a flex head and then you end up breaking it. But yeah, man, that's that's it. That's it for this video. That's just I'll show you a different one on a different video on a, how it looks welding with a SA200. But I have my tanks on the other side of my property, all on the other side, and I don't feel like bringing it here just to. I just, because right now I'm just doing an oil change I had some time to do it. But that's about it, man. And I just buy this extra piece of hose because it does not come with the extra piece of hose. It only comes with this, without this part. And then, of course, you have to undo this little quick connect so you can, in order for you to slide this piece in. And then from there, after you finish your setup, you just slide it up, cover it, and tuck that little part here until it locks into there. 
and you're secure. And you won't have to worry about this thing arcing on whatever place you are. If you're like in the bare metal area and decides to touch metal or whatever, nothing's gonna happen with that protection right there. And that's it, man. Super easy. All you do is just use your, your polarities the other way. And that is the most basic machine ever to run take any welds like a chap and smooth when you're welding with this machines for tig you can weld sheet metals all day until your gas runs out but that's about it guys super easy most basic easiest machine and most awesome machine ever to do stick tig you could run a box too with an LN25. You can weld flux core, make all day as well. But I don't have that. All I'll do is stick and TIG on this machine. And at my job, I do everything. Well, guys, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can 